In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create super professional logos in just a few seconds using only free AI tools. Let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'm going to be using Microsoft's designer. So for our first prompt, we're going to use a clean minimalist logo design showing the city skyline of New York City. And these are some of the logos that are generated with that prompt. As you can see, this puts out some really professional, um, really nice looking logos. And this was the first design, which I really liked. So here, there's a couple of different options. You can save it to your collections. You can download it and you can also customize it. And we're going to customize it and that'll take us into Microsoft Designer, which has some pretty cool features, but my favorite one is the remove background feature, which you can see here. So now let's go ahead and go back. And here are a couple of other designs from another prompt that I used that included red and blue color scheme. Here's the first design. I think this one turned out really, really nice. Another variation here with a few different elements like the stars, which I thought were pretty cool too. And you can see this one actually includes text, which is accurate in showing New York. So next, let's try a logo design for a gaming channel. Minimalist, green and yellow. And here are our results. You can see there's a couple different variations with controllers and then this one up here with the mountain, which I think is pretty nice. And you can see the text is accurate in several of these as well. And this one here, I think was my favorite out of this set of designs. All right, let's try another prompt. So for this one, we're going to say a logo design for a salon, minimalist, professional, modern, and we'll say vector. And here are some of the designs that it came up with. I think these also turned out really nice. This first one here includes the word salon, uh, has features pair of scissors. This one has a little bit of a silhouette design, which I think is really nice. A few different elements in this one. And then finally a face in the last one. All in all, I think these turned out pretty good. And finally, for our, our last prompt, we're going to say a vector style logo for an off-road tour company, green Jeep, minimalist, and desert. And I think these turned out really cool, and these are actually my favorite out of the ones that we explored so far. Here's the first design. This one looks pretty nice. The second one here, which I think is my favorite, I really like the background colors and the color scheme of the design. The third one, and finally the last one, which I also think has some pretty cool elements that make this really interesting. So we're going to just go ahead and download. And once we've downloaded, um, then we're going to go into Canva and work on updating these to make them usable. So here I'm in canva.com. I do have a pro account, but you can do this using a free account as well. I just created a custom canvas with a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. In this case, just 1200 by 1200 pixels, but you can choose any size. So I've dragged on the first image that we downloaded here. And let's go ahead and start by just pulling up a rectangle. We're going to use this to cover up the text that is currently there. So you can see here, I'm just resizing this rectangle and then I'm going to match the background color, which in this case was white. And then I just duplicated it and we're gonna use this to cover up that bottom text. But I still wanted to keep the lines here. And I actually like to just cover up part of the text and then if I take the time to do, you know, really try to match the font, it can be really helpful to have that text still exposed so you can find a font that matches pretty well. In this case, I chose Lovello. It's not exactly the same, but I think it works pretty nicely with this design. So I'm just going to change the text here to Jeep Tours. 
and then I'm going to match the color of the text that's there right now. And you can use the little eyedropper to match it exactly. Although Canva does usually pull out some of the colors by default. So I'm just gonna finish covering up that text and we will move the Jeep tours down here to the bottom. Next, we're just going to copy that text and then I'm gonna change this to the appropriate name. Um, let's just go ahead and say Canyons. And then I'm going to resize this. And just change the font size to a larger size to fill up that space. And I'm just spending a few moments here just to tweak this and get it exactly how I want it. And I think this turned out pretty good. So now we're going to pull in our next design. And here it's pretty much just gonna be the same process. Um, gonna start off by pulling in the rectangle, covering up our text. And then from there we're going to add the new text over top which says whatever we want it to and that's really the way that you can easily customize these logos that don't have accurate words and text to match your um, brand or your company whatever purpose you plan to use the logo for so once again we just covered up that first line of text i'm going to copy this again cover up the second part and i just left the little dots exposed Then I went in, add a heading, and from here it's pretty much just changing the text to whatever you want it to be. So once again I'm using canyons, just going to match the color here. And then here's a little easy trick is just to increase the letter spacing to help it better fill up that space. I think that looks pretty nice. And for the second line here, I'm just going to change this to Canyon Tours and then going to decrease the font size first, get it to fit in that box, and then I will reduce the letter spacing just a little bit. And once we've got it rearranged, that's pretty much all we need to do. Um, I did do a little bit of final tweaking just to make sure the color is accurate. And I think it worked pretty good. So those are our designs that we've created in Canva. And you can see it just took a couple seconds and then you can go up, download it, and save it to your device. And repurpose it for whatever you plan to use your, the logo for. So all in all, I think this is a really good alternative to some of the more expensive paid tools. And if you're looking to create a simple logo for your brand or your channel, whatever it may be, I think this is a great way to do it. Thanks for watching.